Good morning. So the reason why I'm vlogging today is because I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me as I do my weekly food shop. January is a month full of challenges and Veganuary is one of them. Every single January, Aldi always bring out a new plant-based menu. It doesn't always stick around, but sometimes like throughout the year, you see a few items come back um, as like specials and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, I really look forward to January because there's always something new to try. And I absolutely love Aldi. I go there every week for my food shopping. So it's always fun when they bring something new out to try. I've already seen a couple of things online that they've kind of launched this year. Um, a few things I want to try and find today are the no pork battered sausages. I just feel like I haven't had a battered sausage in like years. So it'd be really fun to try a vegan version of that. Um, they've also got like chickpea pasta, which will also be really useful for my um, healthy eating habits um, as the year goes on as well. So I'd love to give that a try as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it actually. I love shopping um for vegan stuff because they're just i just love trying new stuff in general so yeah i'll bring you guys along and hopefully you enjoy today's video um, and i'll do a little haul of everything i pick up today the first mistake has been made i've actually forgotten the pound for the trolley good news is i found a trolley that doesn't have a pound in and isn't attached to the other one so it's all good back to normal let's go so I've just come across the fridge aisle where we have various amounts of microwave meals. I've actually tried the butternut squash curry and I can tell you it was absolutely amazing. They've got different amounts of pastries, butter, yogurts, um, cheese. In the cupboard section we've actually got free bean chilli, lentil vegetable shepherd's pie, cauliflower dough, cookies, croissants, all sorts of stuff like that, even vegan hot chocolate. As you can see, the no pork battered sausages are out of stock, which I'm gutted about because I really want to try those. Um, this is the vegan frozen range section here. As you can see, they've got quite a lot. So they've even got vegan ice cream, which I'm not allowed. <laughs> I'm not allowed. As you can see, there are so many options available in a plant-based menu, especially in the frozen aisle. They've even got southern fried no chicken wings, peri peri no chicken. It's quite overwhelming, but in a good way. Um, I'm off home now and I'll show you everything that I picked up. So one of the first items that I picked up is this no beef steak. Now I haven't had anything like this in literally years. Um, so for them to do an actual vegan version of a beef steak, I think it's really, really cool. Um, it's 210 grams, this was £1.99 and it's full of protein. Um, so I really look forward to trying this one during the week as a nice meal on the evening. The second item I picked up is from the frozen aisle. Again, I haven't had anything like this in a very, very long time. This is a no beef roasting joint. So it's actually a full like vegan beef joint with loads of seasoning and stuff on top. Um, this one was like more pricey. It was like £4.99, something like that. Um, again, full of protein, full of fibre. So it's a really, really good option um, if you're trying out vegan food for the first time as a way to kind of like introduce yourself into it a little bit better. Um, again, I can have this tomorrow as a Sunday roast with a Yorkshire on the top and I'll be really, really happy and fulfilled with that one. This one here is the hot and spicy frozen burgers. Um, you get two in here. Again, I think it's quite affordable, $1.99 for the two. So it's a nice special little treat during the week. I feel like this is a really good little find. So yeah, looking forward to trying this one. Um, a few little snacks that I picked up actually um, are things I did see online. Um, I've got these pop out salt and vinegar um, crisp sort of things. They're 98 calories per serving and the serving sizes are 23 grams. The other snack that I picked up are these Baby Bell plant based. Now this is something I have seen on advert before. Um, I've never actually tried so I'm really looking forward to giving these a go. Um, they're dairy free and a good source of calcium and vitamin B12 as well. So yeah, looking forward to giving these a try. Um, again, I'm not sure how much these were, maybe around two pounds I like to say, something like that. My next Next product is the plant menu original soft cheese so this is something my mum actually suggested to me to have with like crackers and vegan ham as a little you know a little snack during the day to keep me going um, so yeah this is completely vegan friendly from the plant-based menu and again it's like 1.99 something like that so never actually had soft cheese like this before anyway so I'll be interested to find out if I actually like it or not my next fridge aisle item is the Thai green inspired curry again it's so similar in a price range like 1.99 2.99 something like that again i'm not 100 percent sure it looks like it's got like green beans sweet potato mixed vegetables and stuff like that in there as well so looking forward to trying this as the week goes on 
Another little pack lunch sort of snack filler is the plant-based no pork sausage rolls. Now for a while they didn't actually have these in Aldi. Um, you can actually warm these up as well in the oven. Um, so if you're interested in having them warm as well, you can. Um, but I had these before, but they, yeah, they stopped selling them in Aldi for a long time. So I'm not sure what happened there. But hopefully as the warmer season goes on, they bring these back because I absolutely love these. So the next item is this Flora plant-based butter. Um, I think it was in the one to two pound range, something like that. You get a block here of complete butter. Um, it's 250 grams, so you get quite a lot in there. Um, again, this is something that can go with my sandwiches or can go with like my crackers and stuff like that. So really interested to try that as well. These are so hard to get hold of in Aldi. Like I can't express this enough. Me and my sister absolutely love these and they're the no chicken, no chorizo layered salad. These are absolutely amazing. They taste so good. Um, they're really good for on the go for like a quick lunch and stuff like that for work or at home. Um, and they're really filling as well. This one was 175, um, but you get like carrots, lettuce, like vegan chicken, everything in here. And it is so, so good, but they rarely, rarely have them. So when I seen this in Aldi, you might've seen the footage. It was the last one there. They also had like a vegan Greek salad, which, Again, as much as I like trying food, I just know I'm not really into that sort of stuff. It's too much for me. So I didn't pick that one up. Um, it would have been nice to try, but I don't want to waste any money and I don't want to waste food. So one thing I'm really gutted about is that they didn't have the no pork bat sausages. I really, really want to try those because again, it's something I haven't had in like four or five years. So I'm gutted about that, but it's going to be something that I'm going to have to try and source out over the next couple of weeks during Veganuary. Hopefully it's something that I actually keep in stock in Aldi as well, because the only thing about Veganuary is for people who actually eat vegetarian or vegan food, um, it, it doesn't seem to like last throughout the year, it just goes really quickly. Um, so it's really gutted because you get like you really like something but you can't get it for like another year so yeah that is everything that i picked up for my veganuary little shopping spree in aldi let me know in the comment section down below if there are any other supermarkets that do this sort of special and i'd love to give those a try my next video plan is to actually show you guys some vegan meal prep especially for like a working week sort of thing so i'm going to try and plan and record that as soon as possible ready for maybe next week or the week after um so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in seeing maybe me use some of these in ingredients and making some meals out of them um so yeah if you enjoyed watching this type of video don't forget to give this a thumbs up subscribe and i hope to see you guys very soon bye